Welcome back. To business now, and the producer price inflation for June was 23.1%. This represents a 4.3% increase over May over the May figure of 18.8%. Government statistician Dr. Philomena Nyaku assigned the high price of gold and the depreciation of the local currency as the main drivers. The monthly change rate, on the other hand, was 4.4%, suggesting that compared to May 2015, the producer price inflation increased by 4.4% in June. According to government statistician Dr. Philomena Nyakon, the main drivers of the increase in the PPI are the high cost of raw materials due to the CD depreciation in June, high price of gold and cost of manufacturing. The economic implication is for the month of June. Ex factory prices increased by 23.5%, which translates into consumer prices resulting in high cost of living. The producer price inflation in the mining and quarrying subsector increased by 4.6% over May to record 30% in June. Manufacturing, which constitutes more than two thirds of the total industry, increased by 5.2%, recording 21.9%. The utility subsector recorded an inflation rate of 20.8% in June, indicating a marginal increase of 0.2% as against 20.6% in May. According to some economic experts, the current appreciation of the city will reflect in the producer price inflation in the next two to three months due to structural rigidities and importation of raw materials. In other stories, cocoa farmers in the Hafa North South District of the Ashanti region say the mass cocoa spraying program instituted by government has not inured to their benefits. Over 500 farmers say they have lost hectares of farmlands to controllable diseases in their long wait to benefit from the program. The free mass cocoa spraying program was instituted by the government as an incentive to cocoa farmers. Farmers in the Ahafwano South District, however, feel left out. They wondered why the gang sprayers are not providing chemicals to them. A farmer, Kweku Francis, narrated his plight at the Janso, a cocoa growing community. Most of the chemicals required to spray cocoa farms do not reach us. Over 500 farmers in two communities have to share a sack of the pesticide. A 70-year-old farmer, George Buama, revealed 50 cities was taken from them by the gang sprayers as a registration fee for the mass spraying program. Another farmer, Akusia Dufie, is yet to come to terms with the unfortunate happenings. The pest is causing much havoc to our farm produce while we are suffering to sustain our output. We are pleading with government to aid us. Ghana currently lags behind Ivory Coast in cocoa production. And that's all for business.